Back to that breaking news on the Gulf Freeway this morning. ABC 13's Bree Berry just arrived there on the scene at Scarsdale. And Bree, we saw that car on its roof. Yeah, it's uh, shocking to see as you're driving by that car's completely flipped over right on the wall here. I'm going to step aside and give you a bit of a better look so you can see traffic moving pretty slow. This is on the Gulf Freeway right at Scarsdale Boulevard. So we were able to get off on the feeder and travel along that. So that's my best suggestion if you're headed in this direction. Traffic able to get over there as you see on that far left side, but obviously condensing all these lanes down into just one car causes it to be extremely slow. There's a lot of backups, but obviously the biggest concern is, you know, everyone involved in this. We're not exactly sure how many cars at this point. Police are still out walking around investigating. So we don't know the conditions of anyone involved in this wreck. If there was one car, if there were multiple, we do have three cars along the right shoulder here, but we're not sure if they were just witnesses to what happened. So there's two. You see this truck with the flashing light. There's a car up past us. And then, of course, that car that's flipped over. So right now you can see just how devastating this is and then causing these severe backups. Again, we don't have any confirmed information at this time, but as soon as we do get that information, of course, we will bring you the very latest. And of course, you know, as this clears up and once the lanes open back up, we'll let you know as well. So it's helpful to have the ABC 13 app downloaded so you can get that push alert and then we'll bring it to you live on air here as well as online. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Breaking news, Gulf Freeway and Scarsdale, Bree, thanks.